hello guys welcome back to engineers academy now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2 and the problem says that a steel tank is to be positioned in an excavation determined by trigonometry the magnitude and direction of the smallest force p for which the resultant r of the two forces applied at a is vertical and we have to find the corresponding magnitude of r so we have to find this smallest force p uh, if the resultant is in the vertical direction so if the resultant is like this we have to find the smallest force p that will make the resultant in the vertical direction so now is we know that the resultant uh, we always get the resultant by aiding uh, these two vectors by head to tail rule so now let's say let's say that um, this is a horizontal line let's say and let's say that we have some vertical line here now in the problem statement it is given that the resultant will need to be in the vertical direction and the resultant must be in the upward direction so this is our resultant and we are given this 425 pound force which is making 30 degrees with the horizontal so we will have that 425 pound force like this and it's going to make that 30 degree angle and then we we need to aid that force p in order to have this resultant as vertical so now let me draw that uh, force of 425 pounds magnitude so this is that uh, 425 pound force which is making 30 degree with the horizontal now we need to have force p this blue arrow is force p but we need to have this force p is minimum and the length of this arrow tells us the magnitude of that force p so now if uh, and and in the problem statement is said that uh, the resultant this resultant uh, this pink arrow must be acting in the vertical direction so we, so we are given that the line of action of the resultant must be acting in this vertical direction. Uh, this resultant must be acting in the in the vertical direction. So it can be large or small, but the line of action must be acting in the vertical direction. So if you want to have um, this p a vector magnitude to be smallest so then uh, this p must be perpendicular to this uh, resultant since if 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 somehow if somewhere here uh, this p force is perpendicular we have the smallest length of this force p and the smallest length means that the magnitude of this force p is the smallest Let's see so the the p value is um, the least value so now why i am saying that p must be perpendicular to the resultant since if i move from that particular point where the p value is smallest then the length of the p vector increases and similarly if i move in the other direction the p the length of this blue vector increases so so if let's say if i'm moving from this from this particular point in the upward direction a point will come where this p force will have the smallest length and after that particular point the blue vector length will increase so at that particular point where we have the smallest p value at that particular instant the angle between the resultant and that force p need to be 90 degree so in other words we can say that if this force p is making 90 degree with the resultant the length of this p vector will be the smallest so now from from this discussion we can conclude that this force p need to be perpendicular with the resultant in order to have the smallest magnitude so we can say that p must be perpendicular with the resultant so we will have the smallest p value so this means that we can write that the the alpha angle need to be zero we can say that alpha equals to be zero or we can say that p must be 
uh, perpendicular to the resultant in order to have this smallest value and now we can find p magnitude if we consider this as a right angle triangle then we can say that p is the sine component if let's say or we can say if this if this angle is 30 then this angle is also 30 so let's say if i am saying that this angle is 30 then p is adjacent to the angle so then p is the cos component so we can say that p magnitude is the cos component of this uh, 425 we can say so p is 425 cos of 30 and similarly um, the the vector or the side which is opposite to the angle is always the sine component so we can say that r magnitude is 425 sine of 30 degrees and this will be the smallest magnitude of that force p so P is 425 cos of 30. This is approximately 368. 368 pounds. And this is the smallest. And similarly, R is uh, 425 sine of 30. So this is approximately, the resultant is approximately 213 pounds. And the resultant is in the vertical direction and force P is in the horizontal direction. That is uh, perpendicular to the resultant. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy and let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning.